Jennifer Jordan. I hope my hands smell like me, because I just shaked her, shook her hand. So yeah. Smell like what? Me. Me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys feeling good tonight? Great. Yeah. I think Jackie invited me to open the show to really set the tone and the mood. So it's going to be horny and extra awkward tonight. So <laughs> ready for that. <sighs> I can feel a failure, so I tend to avoid anything I know I'll fail at. Also a fear of success, so I tend to avoid anything I know I'll succeed at. I would say I do something where the outcome is uncertain, but I also have a fear of the unknown. So I just do nothing. I yeah. think I want to get in a long distance relationship with myself. So I've been learning astral projection. I, chuckles, I, chuckles. I did recently just have sex. It was with myself, with her being honest. So, actually, like two hours ago. Yeah, really, really wind and dine myself too. You know, took myself out to a nice dinner, watched a couple episodes of the rest of my opening, took myself to Tears at Lubricant Town. Okay. There's just one problem. Myself has become kind of clingy. <laughs> like I woke up the next day and myself was still there. <laughs> went to work, myself went to work with me. I'm seeing myself everywhere, there's mirrors. <laughs> myself is like liking my Facebook post from like three o'clock at, at like three o'clock in the morning from like three months ago. Yeah. So now I know how Donald Trump feels, so <laughs> I do, I do tend to like spend a fair amount of time by myself. So the, the pandemic wasn't really that bad for me, you know. I'm already like mentally and emotionally distant, so socially distant wasn't that hard to add. <laughs> also maybe a little bit romantically and sexually distant. <laughs> so it really wasn't that bad for me. I don't know. I'm like a social camel, you know. I can like take like a half an hour of like social interaction and just make that shit last for like a week. <laughs> I don't need to talk to anybody for a week. I'm good. Like after this, I'm not gonna see anybody for a month. <laughs> so this is my goodbye for the month. I'll see y'all in July. If I do spend a lot of time by myself, like I would go out in public by myself. I always look like I'm like being stood up on a date whenever I go out in public. Like I'm always just like looking around, like looking at my clock, just like looking around expectantly. Yeah. <laughs> and being being by myself, I tend to like walk by myself, so I, it ends up being like I'm walking behind somebody. I just get really paranoid that they think I'm going, I'm on like following them, so I just have to like speed up really quick and walk past them. And then I'm paranoid that they're following me and I don't want to be a leader, so. I won't be a follower, I just do my own thing. See you all in a month. Yeah. yeah. Have been doing good? Claps are like the worst way of telling somebody you're doing good, so <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> I don't really care how you're doing actually. Not much for small talk. Like I can see the weather by just going outside. <laughs> Probably hate your job more than I hate my own. I really don't give a fuck about your kids. <laughs> don't even give a fuck about the kids I have. <laughs> I don't think I have any. For sure. <laughs> Obviously, I don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm more, I'm, I'm like also not like emotionally vulnerable enough for like big talk. I don't want to talk about the universe or where my life is going with my five year plan. Death, death is my five year plan. And I'm more of a fan of like medium talk. I like things like what's your fifth biggest fear? 
Who was your third grade crush? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Guys, who was your third grade crush? I don't know Okay, never mind. Don't answer me. <laughs> my third grade crush was myself. No. No. <laughs> What's your thoughts on season three, episode 14 of Arrest Development? Nobody's gonna correct me. There's only 13 episodes of season three of Arrest Development, so we all fail that test. I don't know if I can do any more comedy after that, but I will. I'll persevere. Yeah, medium talk. I don't know. Let me look at my handy dandy notes, sorry. <laughs> yeah. For me I feel I feel like porn is a little bit like the sex version of caffeine. Like it, you you feel like it's quenching your thirst at the time, but then you just end up more thirsty. <laughs> You pee weird. You have to poop after. Maybe that's just me. I just wonder what the blue lights matter people are going to say when like blue skin aliens come down asking for asylum. But will blue lights still matter then? No. Yeah, exactly. Okay, hypocrites. <laughs> Any, anybody, anybody been in Area 51? Anybody make it to Area 51? Nobody here? Not yet? You'll make it, I believe me. <laughs> Everybody else is excited about it. I'm, I'm excited about Area 53. That's where I want to go. Because there's 53 episodes in the first season, first three seasons of Rest Development. <laughs> so I think the government just had a warehouse where they have the unaired episode where Joe Blue's in an eye. So I can make up bullshit <laughs> conspiracy theories. Eat it all up, Q Qaholics, whatever the fuck you call it yourselves. QAnon. Q Q-tips. Yeah. That's the stupidest fucking conspiracy theory. The stupidest thing about that for me is the fact that they say like Donald Trump is going to like get rid of all the pedophiles. When it's just obvious to me that Donald Trump at some point has fucked a kid. Oh my it just God. seems like, yeah, he's probably fucked a kid. Yeah, you probably fucked Macaulay Culkin on the set of Home Alone too. Like you did on Michael Jackson. Going dark here. Yeah. I don't. I don't like when people recommend people to me. Like, oh, you should check out this person. They seem cool. You'll think they're funny. I'm like, I, I do like the same thing I do when somebody like recommends like a new Netflix series. I just like tell them I'll check it out, and then watch the rest of it for like the fifteenth time. I don't know, I'm a very busy, well, I'm not that busy, I'm a busy person. <laughs> so I don't have time to like start your friend Fred at like season 37 or whatever. At least like provide me like a recap video so I can kind of catch up. Like, like my nephew's 13 years old, I've been, I've been watching him since like the beginning, I've been there since the beginning. I don't want to know all your stupid Fred, friend Fred's like backstory, I don't want to go back like thousands of episodes. Sounds like a lot of work. Also, the only friend I really know was arrested for child pornography, so I stopped watching that. For some. Yeah. Nobody's liking the pedophile jokes. Check. I'll check that off next time. Yeah. America, right? Who here loves America? <laughs> I don't know. I think Corona kind of corroded. Yeah, corroded my my uh, faith in America a little bit. And I think we just need to just get rid of America. We just need to abolish all nations. Because if I'm gonna be fucked by a government, I'd rather it be like one manageable government fucking me than like the multinational gangbang we currently have. With America being both the engine and the caboose. 
But actually, my, my, my faith in America was shaken up like long before Corona happened. I was in a theater in Wyoming. I was doing a show. I decided to go up in the attic for some reason, and I ran into a uh, Big Mouth Billy Bass. Remember this thing? <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Be happy. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Just remind me, America has been in some pretty stupid things. Pet rocks, beanie babies, unnecessary wars. <laughs> also really into Furbies for a while, which are just creepy. <laughs> my Furby impression is not great. I don't know. Furbies are up there. They're one of my biggest fears. Probably my fifth biggest fear. After um, failure, success, the unknown, and a spider shark eating my mom while a cyborg clown watches and laughs. Yeah. I'm doing good. I'm doing good on time. Yeah. You know, you <laughs> Thanks, Jordan. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm going to invite you back up on stage because I'm done. I'm Tim Miller. Thanks, everybody. Going for Tim Miller, everybody. Tim getting dark with it up here. <laughs>